right, here we are with a jet prop completely uncowled and ready to go, exposing this whole area so we can talk about the pneumatic system. In a jet prop, we have the bleed air that comes across this orange tube and comes down into the heat exchanger. This heat exchanger is doing exactly that. We're taking this warm air that's, that's bleed air, and we're going to, most of the time, especially when we're at low altitude, we're going to want to cool that air prior to it entering into the cabin. So that air comes through this, that bleed air comes across, comes through over here before it branches off and eventually goes into the cabin. But that's warm air, and we want to have the option to cool that air. We're going to do that with this device. And if they, so the air comes into the cabin via the NACA inlet and then goes down inside here. If you can see down inside there, you see some radiator looking type of stuff. And that's exactly what it is. That is, it's actually like a radiator. So the air that comes through here and the air that goes through here never mix with each other. They're ne they never, it's like a radiator on a car where the water in a radiator never mixes with the air that flows over it. It's just a heat exchange that occurs there. So this cold air comes in, blows down through. There's actually on the bottom side, there's some vents down here. So the air flows through the bottom, cooling this air that's now going to end up going into my cabin. I have control over this air through this, uh, this valve, this butterfly valve. This butterfly valve I have control of through the heater knob. I can pull the heater knob and this butterfly valve will close, stopping that cold air. So if you're at high altitude, let's say it's negative 30 degrees outside or something of that nature, that negative 30 degree air is going to cool this air very rapidly. And so if you close this butterfly valve, it will stop that cold air from cooling this bleed air and your cabin's going to stay warmer. So when you pull the heater knob, all you're really doing is not cooling anymore. So you're, that, that's exactly right. And incidentally, this rubber gasket that's right here, I found on a lot of airplanes to be kind of weak, not seal very well. And when it doesn't seal very well, usually that jet prop is going to be very cold at high altitude um, because that really cold air will seep by here, cooling this air that comes into the cabin. You know, if you've got negative 30 or negative 40 degree air, that's going to do a lot of cooling, even if there's just a little bit of it. And jet prop came up with a really nice, what they call a heater bypass, that has the air bypass this entire system. This jet prop doesn't have it, so this guy is going to really want to make sure the seal is uh, closed. So this is how we do our first stages of heating and cooling in a jet prop.